Earlier in my career, I was teaching the uh, AP Calculus class. And along my walls, I would post the names of the students who had scored a five on the AP exam and celebrate their successes. At the same time, I was also teaching a tech math class, which was a, basically designed for a group of students that was struggling with mathematics. And they would often ask me, what are the names all around your wall? And I would, I would explain to them how it was my calculus class. And they, they would say, can I get up my name up on the wall to, and take calculus? And unfortunately, they were juniors in, in, in high school and they weren't going to get the time to actually get to my calculus class. So the answer was not during our, our time in high school. Um, but I would always ask them at the end of every test, tell me something you want to learn about. I want to make this authentic for you. I want to make this real for you. And they looked around the room. They saw another group of names. That was my pre-calculus class up there for passing a trigonometry exam. And... After about three or four tests of me asking, is there anything you'd like to learn about them saying, no, no, not really. One of these kids said, if we learn trigonometry like your other students, can we get our names up on the wall too? And I never thought about the fact that these students would be as motivated and, and, and want to do as well. And I was, I was just taken back by it. I was like, of course, yeah. So for the next six weeks, we started from scratch and we built their way up to trigonometry and gave them an opportunity to take the test. Uh, when the day came, 50% uh, of my kids were able to pass that test and their names got painted on my wall. And it's just a reminder for me that, you know, every student wants to learn. Every student wants to be successful. And we can't pigeonhole them and we just have to understand that and do our best to bring out their enthusiasm and their desire to learn.